I want to show y'all something a little different here. Uh, it, I want to say he's 10 or 11 years old, but uh, he's a grandson of Dash for Cash. He is bred higher in a woodpecker's nest. Uh, he has been barrel raced, and uh, but he's also been worked in the cell barns and stuff. One hand broke and a nice fancy gilding. Um, it, when I've got him, I got, I've owned this horse a month or two. And I got him, his teeth were so bad. You, like, it was bad, okay? That's, a, that's what I'm gonna say. And uh, somebody had been beating on him, trying to make him ride. I'd done his teeth. Uh, and this is probably his third ride since his teeth are done. He still thinks that bit's gonna hurt him, but it's not. That's why he bucks up right, like, a little bit and tucks his old face and throws his head a little bit. I, done, I got his teeth done. And uh, see how he kind of wants to act up a little bit there when you ask him to turn or something then he realizes it ain't gonna hurt and he goes ahead and does it uh but that horse one hand broke i mean a nice fancy gill and he'll lope them circles he'll do it all he'll slide stop he'll spin around somebody wants a horse they can take home this is a 10 or fifteen thousand dollar gill and if somebody just wants to work with him but here today price on him's 3500 bucks he's 15 one or two and he's pretty and i've got his papers papers in hand sign transfer all's there big shapey nice gild and one hand broke and a good horse you come down here you can ride him two or three hours i'm telling you this horse gets better every step he makes out here like i said i'm telling you his the inside of his gums look like hamburger meat i done his teeth turned him out and forgot about him this is the second or third time he's been rode since then and y'all can see he's not doing horrible to be as much trauma as he's been through he had skint marks and everything on him where they had been trying to get him to ride i don't know who it come from but i just found him like that and i bought him he was coming home with me. But the price on him is 3500 And uh, he is a big, nice, shapey gill. And he's gentle. Um, gentle, gentle. Like, catch him anywhere. You ain't got to worry about him kicking you. He had shoes on when I bought him. I pulled him off. Well, I had him turned out and stuff. But this is a big, nice gill right here. He is a nice horse. I mean, like, y'all take him home and ride him two months. 10000 well, buy, I promise you somebody will come by him for 10000 This is a big, nice, shapey gill, and he's young. He's 110% sound, no problems whatsoever. His teeth have been done, uh, and he's ready to go to work and go do whatever. He's got the big circle M brand right there on his hit, uh, shoulder, um, and a nice big gill. Lope him down through there, Jackson. This is no warm-up, no nothing. Jackson stepped on him, rode him right here. We started videoing. Just lope him. That horse squeezed right off into a lope. Okay. Or not. Ask him to lope. I'm telling you, that horse will lope right off, Jackson. Give him his head. And oh, look at there. Oh, he was going to. You touch his mouth every time he's going to lope. Just let him lope. Lope him. Just give him his head. Look at that. Ah, oh, that big, nice, fancy lope. That big slide stop. Jackson, he just ain't used to riding one this broke. Very rarely we get one around here this caliber of horse. Just so happened he was a gift, and I'm going to gift him to somebody else because we just ain't got time to ride him. Lope him off again, Jackson. Look, I promise you that horse will lope every step. You just give him his head. Look at that. That is a nice, nice, fancy gilding right there. I'm giving somebody a horse. All they've got to do is take him home and ride him. They'll have them the cheapest, best horse around, I'm telling you. I know a lot of people think 3500 that's not a bargain. Y'all go out there and look at this horse market. That horse right there, if he was riding to the knowledge he knows of and he wasn't scared that you're going to hurt him or nothing in his mouth, I don't mean beat him. I mean his teeth. Like, I'm telling you, his teeth were so sharp they would cut my finger when I stuck him up there to fill him. And, uh, but he's not head shy. He's not goofy. He's not hard to catch. He's not hard to saddle. You can rub him. You can shake your hands. You can holler. Hey, uh, uh, uh. He's not darn going to run off and be stupid and act like a barrel horse and all that stuff. Uh, but right here is a cheap, cheap horse. Y'all go out there and look at the horse market. And, that, and he's an own grandson of Dasher Cash. He's not no great grandson. He's not a great, great grandson of Dasher Cash. He's a grandson of Dash for Cash. I'm telling you, right here is a horse that I am gifting somebody. Y'all are going to hug my neck next time y'all see me when y'all take him home and ride him two months and somebody says hey will you take fifteen thousand for your horse and you're either gonna say 
yes sir or no sir i wouldn't take fifty thousand. right here's a big nice shapey sorrel gildan and he's a grandson of dash for cash and he's young he's young he's not 40 he's not 20 he's not 15. i his papers ain't on me they're in my truck i'll have to look but i want to say he's just 10 he's no older than 12 and he's no younger than eight right there's a big nice shapey paint gil or sorrel gildan open back <laughs> That horse will lope circles and all, Jackson. I'm telling you, look. Whoa. Stop him. Okay, or not. Stop him. Whoa. Just sit down and put your feet out. I'm telling you, that horse knows more about riding than most people. Somebody has treated him like dog crap, though, because they couldn't, wasn't smart enough to go get his teeth done. Watch him lick them lips now that he's realizing he ain't getting hurt. Look at that kind eye. That's a big, nice horse. and gentle and 100% sound.